Hey, mini friends. Thought I'd hop on again today and show you. I say that a lot, don't I hop on? I gotta get like a new way to start these videos. <laughs> anyway, I just wanna show you how I make the wreath bows um, for my dollhouse wreaths and for the door hangers. Um, one of the challenges I faced at Christmas time uh, was making those red velvet bows. Some ribbons are one-sided. All of the ones I have today are two-sided, but the trick was getting the right side all on the front of the bow. So this method works for two-sided and one-sided ribbon. Uh, for my 112 scale dollhouse items, I generally use 3 8 inch ribbon. Um, this one's just a slightly smaller ribbon. I really like it. Um, you're gonna need some thread, of course your ribbon, uh, and a needle. So what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna start by making a loop. A little loop. And this is these two sides of the bow. So you can see how big your bow is gonna be if you kind of push it together like this. And then I'm going to take the piece of ribbon that's on top and put it through the loop. And then I'm just gonna pinch it. And I'm gonna take the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, and then pinch it all together. And I can already tell these are not even. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm just gonna move my ribbon a little bit to get it even. Now they're about the same. And then I'm gonna push that first loop up towards that cross space. Okay. And I'm looking to try and get it centered, so I'm sliding that around a little bit too. Then I'm gonna take my needle and thread and through the back, I'm gonna grab all the layers, just like that. And I'm gonna go back through again And then I wrap the ribbon around right down through that cross section like this. And I'm gonna take this side of the bow and fold it to meet that side so that I'm sure I have the middle. And then I'm just gonna take my needle and put it through these pieces of thread right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull tight and that's gonna gather the whole bow together. to just go through the thread here on the back to make a knot. Like so. And then I can cut my thread free. And here is the front of, oh my phone, that's so convenient. <laughs> Hello, I can't come to the phone right now. So there it is. All right, I hit pause on that one before uh, my answering machine tells everybody my phone number. <laughs> Anyhow. Here is the front of the bow. And then you can just use a tweezers or open the scissors in here and fluff it up. And it's ready to go. And of course, if you wanted these ends to be longer, you could just use a longer piece of ribbon. Thanks for watching.